Recently, restaurants from far and wide have come to buy his stone walks. These stone walks are first carried to the county capital by caravans, and then delivered out of Mortor by roads. <laughs> After leaving the rainy area, Motua stone walks enter another forest on the high mountains, Lula. Conic gymnodynia tuber, a rare medical material found only on the highlands, is put into a stone walk together with locally raised Tibetan chicken as well as a dozen other plants. After being stewed for three hours, a dish called stone walk cooked chicken is ready. The gathering of forest delicacies and a Mortor stone walk allow people to enjoy a fresh flavor soaked in an ancient flavor. Centering on the Yarlong Tsangpo Grand Canyon, vast forests cover the east of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. Luoba people live in a valley to the south of the Himalayas. As hunting wild animals is forbidden here, most hunters have selected other jobs. Nevertheless, their hearts are deeply rooted in the forests. At the foot of the mountain, every family has a government subsidized house but Lin Dong, an old hunter, prefers living here, up in the mountains. He is in a good mood today, as his grandson, Gu Qing, will come to the mountain to spend his weekend. Lin Dong begins to make preparations to welcome his grandson. Mosaw bamboo is the primary material for making tools. The history of the Loaba people is carried forward via epics and songs. 
And Lin Dong is one of the most important people carrying on the mission. When weaving bamboo baskets, he sings songs that were sung in the past during hunting. To keep his grandson from becoming too bored on the mountain, he has made some toys he played with in his childhood. Gu Qing is 10 years old, and he hasn't seen his grandfather for a long time. The fish basket woven yesterday has been hidden in a river. On his arrival, everything was new to Ge Qing. But recently, he's become a little absent-minded. It's time to take out something really interesting. Gu Qing seems more and more immersed. His grandfather excitedly shows him his special skill. He seems extremely excited. Although his grandpa hasn't hunted for decades, he is still agile and strong. Guching seems a little confused as to why his grandfather is so elated. It's almost dinner time. Old Lin Dong has come out to the forest to hunt real prey with his grandson. They go to the riverside to check their catch from the fish basket. They've had quite a catch. They are going to have a hearty hunter's meal. Yeah. 
This is the moment that grandfather has been waiting for, teaching his grandson how to survive in the forest, even though he doesn't really understand. Every time they meet, old Lin Dong will review this topic. And he believes Gu Qing will get the hang of it one day. <laughs> 